Welcome to another edition of Realtor Success. I'm your host, Mike Oden. Today is a late night edition of Realtor Success, sitting here in my home theater and um, about to probably flip on the TV once I'm done talking to you guys and go to HGTV. And so today we're going to be talking about how you can grow rich in your HGTV fetish real estate niche. So with that concept and keeping that in mind, coming to Design Diva Realty or Design Squared Realty. So instead of just being the uh, typical real estate agent, talking about home evaluations, let me uh, come in and give you an outstanding listing presentation, etc. Your career could be around divas and dudes who love design and you connect with homeowners, women and men who love home design. Um, a lot of us, after work, come home, sit down, plop in front of the TV, lock in the HGTV, and look at anything from property virgins all the way to property brothers. And, you know, you talk to your spouse or your partner about things that you'd love to do around the house once you get that next closing or you get that next bonus, etc. You get some more money in your savings. You know, you want to make do a design in the bathroom, etc. Guess what? Your buyers, your prospective buyers, your prospective home listers and sellers are having the same conversations with their spouse. So connect with them emotionally about that topic. So dudes, if you don't think you can talk about design, again, this is my home theater. It's with a lot of time putting this thing together, a lot of money, a lot of money, time, energy, and effort. There are a lot of things from a dude's perspective too that you could talk about from home theaters, garages, landscaping, etc. So the market that you'd be targeting to um, exclusive neighborhoods. So you do a postcard mailing, um, invite them to a webinar or YouTube, your YouTube page where you talk about, you do video on cool design tips. Today, I was at Kroger, saw this magazine, HGTV magazine, 150 super easy decorating ideas. Well, guess what this turns into? 150 blog posts that you can spread out over the course of the year, talking about cool, cheap, easy, a fun kind of design tips that could be done in the home. Now, you're thinking, how can you tie this back into real estate? We'll get to that in a second. Um, also, in terms of your market, exclusive neighborhoods as well as the metropolitan area. This concept can uh, spread like wildfire. So, if you start on an exclusive neighborhood using some statistical data, you want to think big but think smart. Um, homeowners in exclusive neighborhoods who've been there, who've been living in their home for eight or nine years or more. So, they're at the cusp. Uh, they're probably thinking about design things and tips, who isn't, as well as possibly getting a new canvas or a new home. We'll talk about that in a second. So um, as you target a neighborhood, you get a listing, then you start targeting that entire neighborhood. Hey, we got a listing over here, et cetera. Send them your design tips, and then you move that model across your metropolitan area and exclusive neighborhoods. The message that you're sending, design tips, how to save money with design, things you can do, cheap, easy, fun, etc. Again, using a lot of video, um, inviting them to your website, etc., where you have these conversations. Maybe you can take it to another step. Maybe you partner with a local, um, a local boutique furniture store, and you have a meet and greet there, and you bring in a um, interior professional, interior designer to talk to people about home design things. And we'll talk about how that partnership can work even more so in a second. And again, you'll always be able to bring timing into this concept with real estate and selling or buying a home. The results, you're going to have a lot more fun talking about design, interior design, etc. Things that you enjoy and that you're already doing your leisure time. And your clients are going to look forward to hearing from you because you won't just be talking about buy, buy, buy or sell, sell, sell all the time. You'll be talking to them as if you were uh, with them at a cocktail party about things that you enjoy. So... The call to action. How do you bring all this back into real estate? Sell your home. I'm a professional real estate agent who has the need to make a living and feed his family. Well, again, design tips. Maybe the interior design person that we talked about uh, partnering up with. The call to action is the first 10 people that call our office uh, this month. Get a free interior design uh, consultation uh, with our partners, X, Y, and Z interior design. Well, now you're marketing their business. Don't you think they'll send you leads and referrals as you see them send them leads and referrals via your marketing? And as well, when people can no longer design their current space, they need a new canvas. Design Diva Realty, Design Square Realty, we will be there to help you sell your home when you're ready. So that's another edition of How to Grow Rich 
in your real estate niche. I'm Mike Holden, your host coming to you from Real to Success, where it's about you being successful as a real estate agent. Have a great day.